Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group Weekly Update for the week ending October the 14th, 2022. Quite a historic uh, little leap yesterday we took, right? Uh, that was uh, that was interesting to, to, to watch that uh, bear rally. Uh, historical uh, because of the, the thousand point swing in the Dow. Uh, you know, it, there was a lot of technical reasons that uh, people uh, blamed for that to happen, uh, etc. Shorts, covering and things like that. After the bad news came in, the markets had anticipated uh, a big down move. Futures were way, way down. And then uh, as the market began digesting the information, suddenly the big the big move uh, wasn't happening. And that started uh, a few people to start covering downside moves. See, short plays, uh, short trading involves a lot of risk and you have to pay interest on the time that you're, uh, that you're short those shares. Uh, you're, you're dealing with institutional traders. They, they've got big, big money out there. All of a sudden, you see, you see those uh, that, that down move not happening as you expected uh, on that. Then suddenly, the rush began to uh, cover those positions. So, <laughs> consequently, you had a pretty nice little, uh, little, little up move yesterday. A little, a little uh, uh, bear rally. So that was that was fun uh, to watch today. Uh, Friday, uh, we're got about three hours left in the trading day, and there's um, you know you know it's back to uh, back to kind of a normal position, almost not quite a little bit up from uh, from yesterday's open, but back to where kind of uh, the, the the middle of the of the of the trading range that it has been in for a while. The S and P 500, the Nasdaq, and and the Dow is still uh, still quite uh, elevated on the top side of the trading. So that was. Uh, that was interesting uh, to see. So does that mean that we've reached a bottom? A lot of historic, more more bear markets. There's been about, according to the Wall Street Journal, about 23 bear markets since World War II, seven of which have bottomed in October and, um, and, and gone on from there. So we're midway through October, so we have a couple of weeks left. We still got earnings coming in. Financials started coming in and, and not bad earnings uh, as it were. Uh, coming in, but things are, are, you know, we'll we'll see what happens the next couple of weeks if they uh, if they if they tail off if they stay the same etc. Inflation still uh, running uh, high, too high, and so you still have the specter of the Fed. Interest rates are out there. Okay, so are we at a bottom yet? Hmm. I don't predict the markets. We trade them, uh, but based on the information, you know. Uh, we've still got a pretty pretty good uh, downtrend established in all the three majors. Uh, the the issue uh, the issue is this, okay? Uh, earnings, okay? Do not I, I don't see data showing me uh, earnings are, are, are holding or that earnings are getting higher than they were at. Moreover, so see, we always go back to fundamental analysis. Now, moreover, I don't. I mean, I, okay, look, look. Why would I think I would I would keep my eye on that 3200 level, 3000, 2800 level? Why? The 10 year, okay? The 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 210 spread has been around 40 plus basis points, sometimes 50 uh, over the last 6 weeks. Uh, but it's been averaging right around that 40 basis points. So right now your your 10 year is approaching four percent. It's about three ninety-five, three. You know, it, it's it's approaching four percent, and so that's why when you take those fundamentals, you you, you compare that to where earnings are right now. Um, yeah, so we've got some uh, a, a larger percentage to go down uh, to those levels from where the trade is today. But when you look at the new low that was established uh, just a few days ago, um, then uh, you know. Uh, it, it, it's it, it's still it's still a ways down there, not as far as what it would be today percentage wise. So I'm not going to state a number there, but uh, yeah, keep your eye out for those levels. That would not be surprising that we trade it. All right, so we'll see how we're trading that. How are how are our models doing uh, on this? Okay, this bear thing. Let's look at, at a very very short term uh, because of all the volatility that's gone in. Let's uh, when when these uh, models have really straightened themselves out through this volatility. Let's take a quick peek at uh, at how these are playing out and whether or not you think you uh, would be satisfied with this type of performance. Okay, let's let's ch let's let, let's get into that. These these bear models uh, that that we've we've created for this type of a market uh, have been holding out 
fairly well, okay? Well, using the uh, uh, Russell 2000 as a benchmark, that's the big blue line uh, on the page. Uh, so we'll, we'll take a look at that as the benchmark. It, it, it matters, this because we're, we're so uh, anti-core related, uh, the S&P just, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's gonna look even better against the S&P, but uh, the S&P doesn't really, uh, is not a good benchmark for this. Uh, as it were. So a better a better measuring stick, although uh, it, just for the purposes of this discussion, let's use the Russell 2000. We'll get the moderate bear, the moderate aggressive bear, and then the moderate conservative bear. So we have a couple of more. We have the aggressive and then the conservative bear, so conser and aggressive bears on, on the bookends, all right? So we take those out and just look at what's in the middle of the road. Where's from where most people are, are going to lie in their risk tolerance, okay? And I'm just looking back over the last month because we just want to look at this stabilized. If we start looking at too long a period of time, we get overly influenced by the previous bull market okay we really over the last four weeks have got seen a lot of volatility i mean that's a stress test that i'm looking for can we survive those roller coaster rides and can we can we outperform well look for yourself here so again that big blue line on the bottom that's the big index okay that's the, that's the uh, benchmark our our three lines that are up on top you see uh starting on wednesday uh, uh that would be i guess october the, uh, that would be a September the 21st or, 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 or Monday, September the 19th. That's when you had that real, right in here, that's when you had that real big uh, uh, decline here. Okay, real big move down. Look at our guys. Look at our guys just uh, hanging out here, weathering the storm. I mean, wouldn't you, on, on, on this day right here, would you rather have been down here? Or would you rather have been up there? Because that's where this model was, all right? So the people that we had in that, this is where they were. Even then, and, and that's that's the uh, that's the uh, moderate, uh, moderate bear. And so your, your moderate conservative even, you know, um, what we're doing is throttling the volatility down, but taking advantage of these moves uh, through through hedging strategies, okay? And and we're not even talking, I'm just talking about the, 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 tr the model construction here. We're not even talking about, and we're talking allocation, we're not talking about money management necessarily in this. So take money management out of the equation, and we're just filtering here and looking at performance. So over a one month, uh, I, I urge to you, I put to you that this is really, really acceptable performance when you look at where the rest of the markets were. Uh, out there. If we hang on just a second, I'll, co I'll compare this with a couple of the other well-known brand name strategies. Let's we'll see how we do against those. All right. Okay. Here's how we stack up against the uh, a, a well well-known uh, 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 name of State, State Street. Okay. So they're the ones that create the spiders. You know, all of those uh, ETF models and everything. So this is against their moderate um, uh, active uh, uh, asset models. Okay, that uh, that they just rebalanced uh, uh, recently uh, in, during this time frame as well. We stack up. They look more like the uh, like the Russell, don't we? They look like that 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 benchmark that we had in the previous view on there. So we're we're stacking up much better on the one month period against BlackRock. Not to belabor a point uh, against uh, State Street, but not to belabor a point. But let's do one more against BlackRock. Maybe I'll find a Vanguard and put it in there. Let's see how we stack up. And then we'll wrap this thing up. Hang on. Okay, so what I've done here is I, I've left the State Street on there. Now, these are all moderate. So we're trying to do apples to apples here. So all of these models, but uh, you know, ours is the moderate beer on top. That's our green guy up on top. Okay, now we're compared against State Street. Um, uh, and that's a moderate allocation. Against BlackRock's allocation is the uh, ETF 5050. So that's a moderate exposure. And then finally on the bottom there is Fidelity target allocation. Okay, this is uh, this is this. Uh, so you got Fidelity, you got State Street, this one right here. They don't have their name on it, but that is BlackRock model that's published. Okay, so this is so they're all looking, you know, hanging out, doing about the same type of thing. huh? That's what that's, that's the difference between leaders and followers. Okay. Uh, we just put this out there, you know, this is okay. Uh, they're, they're behaving more like that index. Let's go back and look at a couple of statistics I want to point out to you, then we'll move on. And by the way, uh, you know, we're humble, uh, try to be humble, but the, it's, it's the difference between doing the work, doing the research, doing the math, okay, doing the work, 
this is the difference here uh, that we have versus uh, people that just uh, perhaps uh, draw for whatever reason. I like the way that this is coming out. Okay, um, let's let's take a look at those statistics. Show you one more thing. Remembering all the while that past performance, no guarantee of future results, but hard work generally produces yield. Okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, finally here then, let's just take a look at this. So I, I, I dropped the uh, extraneous uh, people, the third party people, and we're just looking at our, our middle of the road uh, models here uh, on each end. So we've got the moderate bear, the moderate conservative, and the moderate aggressive. Okay, so the, the, the more extreme bookends are not included in this. But again, comparing them against the Russell 2000, here's what I want you to focus on here. This is the, uh, of course, um, this total return up here kind of tells you what most people look for immediately. I like to look at this down here, these two down here, this up capture and this down capture. So right here, as compared to the Russell 2000 index total return, okay, for each 1% going up, the we're, uh, in, the, in the index, okay, we're capturing a little bit more than that on the moderate bear. On the conservative, moderate conservative bear, we're only getting just slightly more than two thirds left. So if the Russell goes up uh, one full percentage point, we're going to grab about two thirds of that in the moderate conservative bear. The moderate aggressive bear is going to grab about the opposite. Okay, about one and a third. So that's that's pretty interesting. So it's about a half, uh, you know, uh, swing there. So uh, you know, half a point swing there, a little bit more than that. So. On the moderate conservative, you get about two thirds of every up move, uh, one percent in the index. On the moderate aggressive, you get one and a third uh, for every one percent up move. And that it, this is what has happened over the last month to date. So this would be through a close of uh, yesterday's trade, October the thirteenth, and uh, and then and then uh, the moderate. It's just kind of hanging out there. So if the if the Russell index moved up a, a, a one percentage point, it went up one point zero one. So about the same on the upside. That's okay. That's good, right? Here's the real kicker, though, on the downside. Now, when the Russell two thousand goes down a full percentage point, the moderate bear has only been grabbing less than one tenth of one percent on that down move. So point zero seven. The moderate conservative only down point zero four, and the moderate aggressive really impressive down 0 0.09 so not even that tenth of a percent that that's really uh, that's really encouraging to me and so it, it builds a lot more of uh, confidence we have this wild volatility here that we're working with people's money with respect and and, and due deference for our fiduciary obligations that they're owed okay past performance is no res uh, guarantee of future results but this is great uh, so far really uh, really enjoying this okay so let's put a ribbon on this then so that's a good discussion about where we've been uh you know so we're and 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 everything is is okay now every individual this is the model uh, performance here so each individual portfolio will be a little bit at variance to this because each one may have a little piece or two that's slightly different okay because of that particular client's uh taste all right they may have one favorite stock that no matter what happens they never they never hold, you know sell it or or whatever they just hang on to it and then there may be other uh, investments uh, alternative investments that are indicated in the total uh, portf uh, portfolio performance on numbers that the custodian provides versus these which are right on the model okay so just realize that those are little variances there bottom line is if you like what you're seeing there and you're not getting this wherever you're at if you're not then uh, with us then maybe you know it's it's definitely worth a call uh to uh, to, to to speak with us and see what we can uh we can build for you and uh if you're uh, if you're already on board as a client and and you're seeing this know that uh, you can wrestle a, a lot easier we're, we're we're throttling down this volatility and it's and, and we're still we're still eking out a nice performance out of, out of this um without a lot of this uh, the upset stomach of the roller coaster rides we go along and as always if you have any questions in, about your account in particular Give us a call, okay? Until next week, enjoy this beautiful weather that we have. It's that time of the year, huh? Stay happy. It's the key to longevity.